So hi everybody and welcome to this week's video of RBX Excel videos. Today we are going to make a beautiful bar chart with differences made visible between two series. And if you like the video, please give it a like and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. Enjoy watching. So in this video we are making this beautiful bar chart with differences, arrows and data labels. And for that we are using this table here. Um, we are going to this sheet so we can make this chart from scratch. And first of all, we are going to fill this table. The first column here, we have sales figures from 2020 and 21 from January till June. And we are going to fill this column, the difference plus. I'm going to type my formula here, equal sign if 2021 is higher than 2020. Uh, it needs to uh, get 21 minus 2020, or else it is zero. And for the difference minus, I'm going to make the same function, but the other way around. Equal sign if 2021 is higher than 2020, 21, I'm going to say 2020 minus 21, or else it is zero. Press enter and I can fill this down without formatting and I fill my columns. My max column is just the highest value of these two. I'm going to need that for my data labels. So I'm going to say equal sign max and select these two figures and close my function. This one also, I can fill this down without formatting and now i'm gonna um, make my data labels and um, i have a column for the plus and for the minus so i'm gonna say equal sign if 2021 is higher than 2020 i'm gonna um, divide the difference between 21 or else this is zero, or I'm gonna say empty. Press enter. My data label minus, the exact way around, the other way around is if uh, 2020 is higher than 21, I'm gonna say this difference divided by the sales of 2020, or else nothing press enter these two i can fill this down without formatting and i have my table which i can use for my chart what we are going to do now is insert a simple bar chart with this part of the table select it press insert and insert a bar chart here is our bar chart what i'm going to do first is change the colors. I'm going to select something in my chart and then press Ctrl-1 to open the former data series. This one is orange and this one is blue. I'm gonna make this one a another color, go to fill, select solid fill, and I'm going to select this color. Now I'm going to change the series overlap as you saw in this sheet, the bars are a little bit overlapping. So we're going to select one of the bars, um, go to the series options, and the overlap is now minus 27. I'm going to change this to 25. And the gap width, I uh, can change this for, to example, 100. Now you see, it looks a bit like the other chart. Now we are going to create a line around our bars. So just select your bar chart, uh, a series, and press Console one for your format data series menu. I'll just select it, go to the fill and line, go to your border menu and say, I'm gonna have a solid line. Well, this color is good and the width is 1.5. Just select your other series and also add a solid line for the border. And well, just select this, 
color the width is also 1.5 and we added the lines around the bars in our bar chart now we're going to add the arrows for the differences and for that we are going to click our chart and click the plus sign to add error bars now we're going to our format chart menu again in this chart elements menu i'm going to select the error bars for 2020 i'm going to my error bar options menu and here i'm going to select the plus and the no cap and my values are custom values and i'm going to specify the value for the positive error bar is the plus difference select it click ok and now select the error bars for the 2021 series also here the plus error bars no cap and go to a specific value and here you select the minus difference out of your table so click ok and now you see the lines for the arrows already um, again select your 2020 error bars go to your fill in line and we are going to have a gradient line and we are going to delete these gradient stops in the middle we don't want to have two gradient stops so select it press delete and select this one press delete so our first gradient stop is going to be this green color and our last gradient stop is a light green color we are um, going to expand the width of the line to around 2.5 we are going to add a dash type these little dots uh, the begin arrow type we are going to select this uh, little dot and the end arrow type we are going to select a arrow now you see the arrows up it just looks like we have in our original bar chart the same we are doing for the error bars for 2021 you can just select them in your chart or go to your chart elements and select it here we are going to fill in line a gradient line remove the gradient stops in the middle and we are going to add a uh, light red color and a darker red color the width is also 2.5 the dash type is the dots and now our begin arrow type will be the arrow and our end arrow type will be the dot so when you see your chart now it comes a lot more like this one with the arrows and actually all we have to do is add our data labels well to add our data labels we could simply uh, click the plus sign and add the data labels but when i do that you see the position of the data labels is not in the right place where i have the data labels on the top of the arrow at every bar here i can't place them on the top of the arrow this way so what we are going to do we uncheck the data labels and we are going to add series to this one just right click in your chart click select data and add a data series the series name i will type in max one the series values are the max column in our chart and click ok i'm going to add another series and i'm going to call this one max two and the series values are the same it's this column again so i'm adding two series with the same data now it's important to move this max one with the arrow up on top and just click ok go to your format chart menu click the chart elements arrow and select the max one go to the chart options the series options and place it on the secondary axis also the series max 2 place it on the secondary axis go to your fill in line and i will say no fill and no line go to the max 1 i say no line no fill 
So now you see your chart is visible, your original chart with your bars and the max one and max two series are not visible. They're totally transparent. So what I'm gonna do now is go to my format chart menu and select the max one series. Uh, click right and in your chart on the data series max one and select add data labels. And now we are going to select these data labels, go to your format chart menu, go to the label options, open the menu and you will check the box for value from cells. You get this little pop-up and the up arrow labels, the data labels will be these ones. Just click OK and uncheck the value box. Now we are going to select the Max 2 series. Also click right on the Max 2 series in your chart and again say add data labels. We are going to do the same for this one. Max 2 data labels. Go to your label options, click values from cell and click the minus data labels. Click OK and uncheck the value box. Now you see the data labels are nice positioned on the top of the arrow and we are going to select the data labels for the uh, positive change. We can format this as a green color, make it bold and a little bit bigger and select the data labels for the negative differences. Make these red also bold and a little bit bigger. And now you see the labels, data labels are nicely positioned on top of the arrows. Now we are going to uh, click our legend and uh, click again on the max one series. So it is selected, press delete and click again on the legend, click again on max two and click again delete to delete the uh, max one and max two from your legend and um, click the plus sign here to remove the grid lines and um, we can type a title for this chart. I'm going to name it sales 2020 versus 2021. And we can also select our secondary axis, select it and just press delete to delete this one. And I can also delete uh, the outline of my chart to select my whole chart, go to the fill and line menu and I say no line for the border. Now you created a very nice chart with differences, arrows, data labels, and this will look very nice on your dashboards or your presentations. Well, this was my video about making a beautiful bar chart with differences. I hope you can use these techniques to uh, make a beautiful dashboard or presentation. If you liked my video, please give it a like and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. Thanks for watching.